Hey, welcome. David here with Spectora. This video is designed to give you a fast track to the mobile app. Now, on average, we see our inspectors are able to start field testing the software about seven days into their free trial once they start watching these tutorial videos. So if you are ready to dive in, I'm going to show you a few basic settings you'll need to know to successfully start testing the mobile app. All right, this is the web platform. Once you create a free trial, confirm your account, you will get taken to this page. This is the dashboard. The first thing you will see when you log into spector.com and where you will configure all of your settings and automated tools on the platform. Now, to dive right into the report writing side, the first step is to figure out which template's gonna suit you best. So let's click into our templates tab. Now from here, we are gonna see the residential template. This is broken down by systems. Every section we see here is a different system of the house to start. Now, if we click my templates, we're gonna open up a room by room residential template where each section is broken down by room of the home. Now, figure out which template fits you best because the second step is gonna be pairing up the template with your service. So. Once that's taken care of, let's jump into our settings page here. All right, at the very top, we're going to click services and fees. Now on this page, eventually you can set up your services, your add-ons, your pricing structure. There will be a link in the description below to a startup series, which will have different videos. One of them will walk you through these steps. For now, all we want to do is click residential inspection and find our templates right here. Residential template with each system of the home will be the default. If you wanna keep it, awesome. Jump into your dashboard. If you wanna switch it, uncheck it, simply check room by room residential template and you are good to go. Now, click dashboard. We are gonna schedule our first mock inspection. So click the orange new inspection button. To start, you're gonna assign an inspector. If you were the only inspector in your account, it will default to you. If you have multiple inspectors on your trial account, you can pick them from your drop down menu. The date and the time, it will default to the following day. We would recommend you just select whatever today's date is. That way you can dive right into the mobile app and start testing this inspection. For location, go ahead and pop in your home or an office address. See the data that we pull in for you. We can skip past clients information for now, jump straight into services. We'll select our one service, that residential inspection, where we already paired up the appropriate template that we want to use. We can scroll past the client's agent, past the listing agent, past the miscellaneous settings, go straight to save inspection at the bottom. This will take us straight to what we call the inspection details page, which is everything you will need to know for this inspection. Who's on the inspection, the reports, if the fees were made, if the agreements had been signed and so on. This is all we need to do for now on the web platform. So let's go ahead and jump over to the mobile app. Now, once I am in my app, I will see the inspection I just scheduled for today. So I can tap into it. I will see the cover photo. I can actually tap on that and, and take a new cover photo for my report. I will also see the orange boxes, payment required, agreements required, indicating I have not received those yet from the client, followed by my room by room residential. That is the template I chose for this inspection. So I'm just gonna click right on room by room residential. These are gonna be my list of sections to start with this base template. If I click my inspection details section, my very first one, it shows me I have one item in this section called general. I can click general and it'll, it will show me just my general informational comments in this template I can fill out, such as who was in attendance, occupancy, and so on. All of these comments are customizable, so feel free to add any comments you would like. Once all of your informational comments are filled out, when we click back, the general item turns green, indicating it is now complete. Everything required has been filled out. 
I can back one more time. My inspection details section name has now turned green as well, indicating I'm finished with this section. I can click into my next one for roof. Let's start with the general item again and just quickly pop through my inspection method. Roof type, that is all I have, and I'll back. General is now green. Clicking into coverings, this will be my first item that has deficiency comments. Once I fill out my informational comments, I can scroll down. Orange limitation comments if I have any. Now I see my observation or defects or deficiencies or findings, whatever you would like to call them. Whichever one you see, check the box. This activates the comment. We'll put this comment on your report. Now you'll see a row of icons. You can, to start, change the defect category by toggling through blue, orange, and red. The names of these categories will be customizable in your template settings. I can also flag this comment if I want a visual reminder for later just to go back into it on my computer to make any edits that I might need. I can also click the location icon. This will pull up a customized list of location tags where you can state where you found any given deficiency. The bottom row, photo. We can snap a photo. Once you have a photo, you can annotate your photo with an arrow. You can click on the row of icons at the bottom of the screen. Maybe I want to draw a circle. I can also add a caption to this specific photo as well. Click the check to save. Now I see my green box on the right indicating I have one photo in this deficiency. On those middle icons, there's also a video button. You can record up to 30 seconds per video. Those two gallery icons. First one is to pull photos from your gallery. Second one is to pull videos from your gallery that already exist on your phone. Let's say I have another defect comment. Maybe this one I wanna make a couple more edits to. I can click the arrow to the right of the comment this will take me one step down into this deficiency where I can change the title of the comment at top. I can also change the uh, description of the comment in the middle. If I have multiple photos on this comment, I will also see them here at the bottom where I can delete them if I need to. Now let's go back. We will go back and go through one more roof drainage Let's find another deficiency. Again, you can toggle through defect categories. Maybe I wanna flag this for later. Maybe this is a good example of using a location tag. And we will take a photo. Save. I would recommend going through a few different items, a few different sections, just to get a feel for how this app flows. We've seen that to be a really big help when making further template edits. When you know how it looks on your phone, typically that helps understand what template edits you might need to make later on. Now, when I'm done, I can back out to the main page for this inspection. At the bottom of my screen, I will see save. That is the only button that will push the data straight up to the web. The sync button will pull data down from the web onto your phone. For example, if someone in your office adds a different template to this inspection, you will wanna click sync to pull that down. For now, I wanna click save, push this data up to the web. Once this is saved, I can jump back to my computer, click into this inspection from my dashboard calendar, make any edits that I need, publish my report. Once I publish, that will send the client the report. Of course, we have a lot of automated emails throughout this process, including for publishing. So again, check the description below, more links on these automated tools. We definitely recommend doing a few mock inspections 
um, probably on your own home, just to really get comfortable with the mobile app. And then we can dive in and help with more of the admin level setup, the scheduling, your payments, your agreements, your services and fees, some more template edits. Take a look at the startup series, watch the videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a shout on our chat bubble in the bottom corner of your dashboard. Or if you'd just like to say hello, we'll be here to help.